Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. If you haven't, please subscribe down below. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, are you a planner yourself? I am slowly expanding my channel, sharing my hobbies and things that make me joyful, things that I take solace in, things I like doing. So the other day I got these in a haul. I do have a couple of items coming today, but they're not a ton. So I might add on to the end of this, but I wanted to go through some of these stickers. Um, if you are new to planning, please give me a shout out and let me know. I've been planning for years on and off. I'm not the best at like planner spreads and things like that, but wanted to kind of share my journey getting back into planning more. Planning has significantly reduced the stress and problems that I have in my life. It keeps me on task, which is very, very important for me. So this is the 2025 Nightmare, the Nightmare Before Christmas planner in the classic size Happy Planner. Right now I am reusing a Happy Planner from 2023 and redating it. But at the end of the year, I'm going to start in this one. I think I'm going to go the classic size instead of the large. I do have the large one, but I'm pretty decent at repurposing things. So we'll see what, what I do with the Jack one that's large. This is um, the, this planner belongs to Paige and it's got zero right here. I just wanted to show you guys the artwork. I do appreciate Disney and their artwork. And I am a Disney fan. Am I a humongous fan? No. Do I, is my destination always Disney? Most of the time not, but I still appreciate it. This page I really like. Um, I can put dots or use a highlighter and mark out when I'm going to have big things coming out of my bank account like registrations, once a year type of items, or important dates like birthdays. And I can make like a thing right here down the side, a little key there. This is the year to glance again, another good place where you can put important dates and then you can kind of refer to it when you are doing your planning. That way you know things are coming up. And this is the first one. This is really cute. Go out and chase your dreams. And the pages, you got zero on this one. I think you get zero on every other page here, every couple of pages, yeah. So let's flip to February. Stay true and embrace your spectacular journey. The dashboards, I don't really use these a lot. I want to, but there are, like, my other planner I'm using right now has a dashboard every single day. I'm not a huge fan of it because I don't really use this space. But um, I like having it once a month. That's good for me, once a month. So um, I don't mind having a daily planner. I do have a, another daily planner um, from the Daily Grind that I'm going to be using, but that's for separate reasons. This is for an everything including budgeting. Um, I'm work, I want to work on myself in the next year. And I think that they have some really good prompts and really good, good ways for you to use lists in that other planner. So, but I do want to use this for everything else. I love this. Very cute. Please ignore my phone. This one is just like the inside of the page. I think we're at the point I can just kind of flip through here. We've got Never Stop Making Wishes. Zero again. We have Listen to Your Heart. These are all really pretty. And I like the purple in the middle. <clears throat> and I love, the, I love the purple discs. I think they're cute. I can cut things down to size and add them in here if I wanted to. I've done that before. I may or may not. I haven't decided yet. So we will see with my budgeting journey. I tend to stick a lot of things in here. So we'll see how it goes. But I don't mind the purple. I um, was watching a video and there was someone that could not stand having color right here because it irritates them. I get it. I do. I really do. So, but I don't mind it whatsoever. Life is an adventure. Yes, it is. And um, too bad that's for July because I know in April I'm saving good things are going to happen. September. Don't be afraid to go out and chase your dreams. 
Welcome to the unexpected. Yeah, I've been having a lot of that lately. <laughs> but that is what life's all about, really, if you think about it. And then let your soul and spirit fly. So this is a really cute planner, and I'm looking forward to using it. Um, in my haul that's coming today, an identical planner is coming for my daughter because I know that she wouldn't like the big one. But I'm not going to go and unwrap it and everything else like that. But that's going to be a Christmas gift for her. And I want to go through the stickers with you guys. Um, I'm going to have a plan with me at the end of this week. Yeah, not using these stickers, but using my Hocus Pocus stickers. Look at these. They're adorable. And it's nice to have something just like super cute and inspiring in your planner this one back here actually is a full page no cuts on it so you could use that in like a journal or a background of some kind see i like functionality and that's where i'm kind of struggling because too much functionality i don't know what to put there not enough functionality and i'm squeezing things in so i have to find a happy medium and that is something that i've been working with for years and years i had a um, horizontal layout in my planner, but I'm looking forward to trying out the other one again. Maybe just decorating it a little bit differently. But I really like these. One thing I can't stand is these get loose pretty easy once you start using these and open them up. Drives me batty. This is cute. This is like different sizes of washi. The only problem is like me seeing it, I need to have the right light or I'm not going to see it at all. <laughs> see the cuts in it. And the other one I wanted to go through, this one I'm really looking forward to. I was looking at this last night thinking about what I was going to do with it, where I was going to put the different boxes and things. And I really, really like these. Um, I like boxes and I don't like boxes. For a long time I didn't use them. so. I'll probably use boxes out of here for a spread. I'm, I'm going to use a lot of different things in here. I'm trying to do spreads more often because I do have a ton of stickers. Um, I probably have stickers from when I first started planning. And that will drive me insane. But I'm trying, I have a goal to use up more stickers this year and enjoy everything. So I haven't... I haven't made any plans for the notebooks themselves. I don't know why that has a piece of something green in it, but it does. That is really weird. We're going to open this up and take a look. Um, what is that? And you know what? I might just put this in the back of here. My chair keeps sinking. My chair is old. Um... This is classic filler paper for Hocus Pocus. And I'm probably just gonna put a bunch of it in the back, but it's different from this paper that we have right here. I love this green. Absolutely in love with that green. Broom Squad, that's me. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and put the filler paper in there while we're talking. These match the stickers. So some of the stickers I'm gonna be using in this I didn't make plans for this one yet, but um, I tend to go through a lot of notebooks. So that's why I have a lot of them. Um, I haven't, hadn't been using as many notebooks until recently, but that's because I hadn't been journaling for a while. And I found journaling also to help. There's several ways you can journal. You can journal any way you want. It's your journal, right? Um, I do some creative journaling. I do a spread a week for creative journaling right now. I don't know if that's going to stay consistent or not. And I also journal just regularly into a notebook. Like it's a little Dear Diary. Except for I don't write Dear Diary. Sorry if you guys can see my robe. I have this really nice big heavy black robe from Victoria's Secret I've had for a few years. My number one problem is cat hair. So I apologize if 
you guys are seeing that. Let me roll this up again. Um, got up this morning, took a shower, and then, uh, you know, put my, my pajamas pretty much back on. Later today, I'll put on some clothes because I got to run to the store. And I think my realtor is coming by because we went to the pumpkin patch and there was a drawing that he had. My sister won one of his prizes. So he's going to drop that off for her because it's easier just to come by here. He knows where my house is. These rings might be a problem later, but I could always change them. Or sometimes if I'm just making a note for one of my videos or something, I'll pull this out and pull out the piece of paper and rehome it somewhere. But I love this and I'm probably going to be putting this cover on everything. I was really tempted to buy a second notebook just to get another one of these covers, but it's not a necessity. I don't know if they've ever done a Hocus Pocus planner, but if they have, I would love to have one. It is one of my favorite movies. Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. I'm back for the other half of my little in-depth review. Um, we'll go through these in a minute. This is the Large Jack Notebook. Take that off. For you, it's been like a millisecond. For me, it's been longer than that. Let me grab my scissors. So I was just watching a review about a different planner that I have coming from Wrong Wrong. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so this one, it's got some really pretty pages in here. But it's pretty basic. It has a lot of the same dividers that the planner does. I might have to do some franken planning to be honest. What I don't like is redating every month because the ones I got from Wrong Wrong are undated. But we'll talk about that in that video when I go over them when they get here. But this is, I think I got big filler paper. If I didn't, I will fill it with something else. But very cute. I enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this very much. And then I know I got small filler paper, but I have the other Jack notebook I can use it in and a classic size planner. That's not gonna stay there. But let's take a look at this. I think it's all the same, but that is really cute. Good things are going to happen. See, little signs everywhere, huh? But we will put this in a planner in a few minutes. I'll probably just put it in the back of the other planner that I have. These are Tinkerbell stickers, and I want to use them to do spreads and use them in um, other stuff, too. Oh, I love the quotes. Good things are going to happen. Dream big, dream often. Really, really cute. Hooray for today. Seize the day. Dream big, smile often. Dream bigger, sparkle brighter, live bolder. And you know, I used to kind of despise some of these and that was because everything was about dreaming, but you know, I'm starting to like them and they're inspirational and make me feel better when I'm having a bad day. So that's cool. These are pretty cool. I like these. I like that they have some that are not clear too. Oh, how adorable. Oh. I really like this. I'm glad I got it. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I don't know when I'm going to use them, though. Maybe I'll use them during my birthday time. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out because I'm a big Tinkerbell fan, too. That was the other things that are coming today. Um, yeah, now I'm kind of rethinking buying the Happy Planner, but... I might find another use to it. You never know. I might Franken plan a little bit. We will see. But really love both of these. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye.